I can't believe it's already October. I mean, the bad news about it is that summer's behind us. Good news is, is that winter is right around the corner and it's about time to get some laps on the mountain in. And I, I can't believe that I have a couple of buddies out in Colorado, Jonathan Buckhouse and Mike the Ski Doctor. They've already got a few days into the season. I'm super jealous. That's goals right there. And uh, we'll make it happen. And, and, and hopefully we'll get out there soon. Needless to say, and with all of that said, I hope that this video finds you well. And going back and speaking about goals, let us know how your goals for this year are coming along. Um, financial, family, career, fitness, whatever they might be, let us know where you're at with your goals personally. Pertaining to my fitness goals, I had a goal of getting three leg days in a week consistently. I've definitely failed. I'm averaging, I'm averaging around one sometimes two leg days a week. So that's still a goal I'm trying to conquer. We still have some time left in the year. On a positive note, my goals pertaining to the beard and hair, uh, in regard to the hair, I did bick my head. That's something that I've always wanted to do, but I was too scared to do it. But I'm super stoked that I did try it. But now, after being in Iceland, and my fellow Vikings, they kind of rubbed off on me and what I mean by that is that I'm actually going to be growing out my hair to do the the braided mohawk Viking thing. I, I don't I don't know the technical term for it, but that's what I'm going to do with the hair. As far as the beard, I'm letting it grow out. A little tip for you that are just starting to grow out your beards, and this is something that I've learned along the way. My first time growing the beard out, I didn't touch it. And it did get long, but at the same time, it did look very thin and scraggly. What I've learned to do, and this is my personal opinion, I, what I've learned to do is kind of trim it along the way. Your, your beard doesn't grow evenly, or at least mine doesn't. And there are a few strands that tend to grow faster than others. And when that happens, it makes your beard look thin. As I've gotten familiar with my beard, I trim it up and that way it keeps the shape and the fullness of the beard and it keeps it looking healthy and full. So that's a little tip for you. And that's my personal preference as far as what I do in growing out my beard. So I hope that helps you out. Today, we're gonna to put the heated beard brush review series on pause and we are going to review some products from Luxurious bastard. Now, full disclosure, I actually know David on a personal level. Him and I, we got a lift in, I think it was about three or four years ago, and he can he can throw around some weight. I was definitely impressed. Getting back to his line of beard products, it's really cool to see how his line has evolved. His products, they can be found at www.luxuriousbastardco.com. There's everything from beard oils to beard balms to soaps to leather goods. The, the beard oils and the beard balms, they range from about $17.50 to $35. The leather goods bracelets, they start at around $9. He has apparel up there. Uh, I think this hat is $22. So yeah, so if you are interested, go ahead and give the site a visit. Again, that's www luxuriousbastardco.com. Now, today we're going to be sampling some beard oils and beard balms and a butter, as well as taking a look at a shampooing conditioner. All right, let's get this started. So first things first, this is the 1912 Bastard Oil. Let's give this a go. Oh, as far as the ingredients, everything you would expect from a legitimate beard company, almond oil, avocado oil, rice bran oil, hazelnut oil, hemp seed, apricot, castor, grape seed, jojoba, argan, vitamin E, and some other essential oils from the luxurious bastard. Let's give this a go. Again, this is the 1912 bastard beard oil. All right, a couple drops. Rub it around in the hands. All right, so there is a woodsy vibe to it with a with a very, very faint hint of, I would assume, coffee. 
I like it. It's a very subtle scent. I'm digging it. So this is the 1912 Bastard Beard Oil, and it has a, a, a very subtle woodsy with hints of coffee scent to it. And his, uh, oh, I didn't go over this. This is a one fluid ounce bottle, and I believe this is $17.95. Alrighty. Wipe my hands off. All right, next up we have the Bilberry Bastard. Let's try this out. So Bilberry Bastard. All right, so it's definitely a fruity berry smelling scent, but it has like a, a touch of NyQuil to it, like a, a medicine, a hint of medicine. I'm not sure if that makes any sense. Like if you were to mix fruity berries with just a touch of a medicine smell, that's what I'm getting from this. And don't let that deter you. It, it's very interesting. It's not a bad smell. It's just very interesting. That's what, honestly, that's what comes to mind when I smell this. So that is Bilberry Bastard. Very interesting. All right. Next up, we have the Legendary Bastard. The Legendary Bastard. All right, this one right here, I believe this is on the higher end of the spectrum in regard to price. I think this is around that $35 mark and that's due to the ingredients that he uses for this oil. You can look the ingredients up to this specific oil on the website. Again, that's www.luxuriousbastardco.com and he gives a really detailed description as far as how this oil has come about. Let's see here, two, three, four. Give this a little mix. <clears throat> and I can already smell this from here. It smells really good. And so this is, this is another one of those woodsy smells, but it's a lot more prominent than the others. This can easily replace a cologne for a night out. And in addition to that, in addition to the woodsy smell, it also has a must to it. So it's a very mature smelling scent. I really, really, really like this. Yeah, that's really good. Mm. Again, this one is the Legendary Bastard Beard Oil. Yeah, that's, that's really good. Mm. All right, let's check out these balms. Right here we have 1912 Bastard Beard Balm. These come in two ounce cans. And on the back, let's see here. So, shea butter, cocoa butter, white beeswax, bayberry wax, almond oil, avocado oil, rice bran oil, hazelnut hemp, apricot, castor, grapeseed oil, jojoba, argan, vitamin E, and our luxurious essential oil blend. Let's check this out. So with this, as far as the balms, I like to check out the consistency and the smell. Actually, you know what? Man, this smells really good. Again, this is, which one is this? This is the 1912. Yeah, I'm, I'm really digging this 1912 scent. Again, it's, it's a, a woodsy scent. I'm not really picking up the coffee as much as I did with the oil, but I think that might be because of the that legendary beard oil is so strong in my in my palms, I should have had a rag right next to me so that I could wash off my hands. Here, let me see here. But yeah, I definitely like the subtle woodsy scent to this 1912 beard balm. Let's rub this around. Yeah, as I warm this up, I'm beginning to smell that woodsy smell. In addition to now, I'm beginning to pick up that the subtle coffee scent to it. So that's good. I, re I really like that. Again, that's the 1912 Bastard Beard Balm. Again, comes in a two ounce can. And I believe this is 1750. So there's that one. Now we're picking up the Bilberry Bastard. Let's see here. Yeah, same exact thing. It's it's that fruity berry smell with just a hint of medicine to it. 
I actually, I actually really dig this. Checking out the consistency as I warm it up. Yeah. And now as far as the smells of the balms to the oils, very consistent with the smells from one to the other. All righty. Next up we have Bastard Butter. On the website, he suggests using this before you go to bed to repair, restore, and rejuvenate as it says on the can. The can is a two ounce can. Now this will or should differentiate from the balm as far as the consistency. It should be more pliable. Let's see here, let's check it out. And as I open the can, you can definitely tell that there is a different consistency to this. And you have to be really careful, I think it's noted on here, to keep this cool because it melts very easy compared to the Beard Balm. Let's see here. So yeah, as I twirl this around, ooh, it doesn't take a lot to melt this, which is, ooh, it smells amazing. Yeah, uh, like I was about to say, it when uh, warming this up, like I was doing the balm, it took a while for me to actually be able to take any out, whereas the butter, it was a few circles around and it already started melting. Now, getting into the scent, I kind of was, I kind of was, kind of thrown off by the scent. It smells really good. It's a, it's kind of like a, it's a sweet lavender smell. It's quite strong. So it's a lavender smell and at the end I get some notes of maple. This smells really, really good. Mm, yeah, uh, that's, I'm really digging this. And going back into the consistency and the texture, there have been other beard products that I've used or that I've actually tested between the butters and the balms and the, and the balms and the butters, the consistency was exactly the same. So it was just, I think it was just a way to kind of make it look like they had more products than they do. Whereas this butter right here is actually more pliable and melts a lot easier than the balm. So it's cool to see that he does differentiate his products in regard to the balm and butters. All right, okay, let's see here. So in addition to the oils, balms, and butters, we have a conditioning Beard Co. Wash. Now with this, I have yet to use this Beard Co. Wash, but as far as the smell, let me see here. Mm, it smells really good. It's kind of like a, a subtle tropical coconut smell to it but like i was saying i've yet to use this i might have to make a follow-up um to cover this beard co wash but the beard co wash as far as the scent is coconut breeze and it's a four ounce bottle but it smells really good and this is 15 dollars for this beard co wash all right see next up we have let me wash on my wipe off my hands okay Next up we have Luxurious Bastard Pine Tar Soap. This is a 4.5 ounce bar of soap. Now to be honest, in regards to the Pine Tar Soap, I'm, I wasn't too familiar with it. Not just from Luxurious Bastard, but Pine Tar Soap in general. I didn't really know what it was, what it was or what it was used for, so I looked it up and I actually found something very interesting out about this. And it's said to help relieve psoriasis, which I had no idea that pine tar soap did that. I had heard of it before, but I had no idea what it was used for. So it's supposed to help with the alleviation of the itchiness of psoriasis in addition to helping with body odors. And I think it was on the website, it says that it's been known to actually help repel fleas. So that was very interesting. In regard to the scent, there's definitely a I don't know if you'd say pungent. No, like a, a smoky scent to this. Yeah, kind of like um, if you've ever smelled a campfire after it's been put out, that's what this reminds me of. And this, just like with the beard washing conditioner, I've yet to try this as well. So with all that stuff, I actually literally last night I was reading up on the pine tar soap. So I, I'm definitely gonna try this out and I'll probably another 
follow-up for this product. Mm. Yeah, and yeah, it's a it's a very distinct smell. And this right here is ten dollars. And what else? And I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see this, but as far as the leather works, here's one of his bracelets. And there's even satchels on his website. Off the top of my head, I I can't recall what the leather leather satchel goes for. But if you are interested, go ahead and go check out his website. But yeah, I think that pretty much covers it. And I mean, in addition to the oils, balms, butters, washes, he's got combs up there. He's got wooden combs. He's got little, little kits as well. So again, go check that out. But I think that is going to do it for today's vlog. As always, I hope that you found this video helpful, perhaps intriguing. If you did, please go ahead and give this a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe. Until next time, peace.